Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Let me present the yeah. topic. Hi, Guillermo. How are you doing? Mm, can you hear me? Pueden escucharme? Yes. Sure, yes. I'm having uh, internet issues. Okay. Okay, thank you for telling me. And we're going to be checking that in case you have like, you have to to go out for some minutes. Okay. I let's... think that is because I have the camera on. Uh, you can turn your camera off if you want. Uh, mean, meanwhile, uh, your signal like returns. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. No Thanks for telling me. Eduardo, good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Okay. I hope you have had a good day. So thank you for yes, being sorry. here, Eduardo. Okay. Nice. I like to hear that class number four, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and then we say goodbye until Monday. Okay. So um the topic for tonight is how to use should. I know that you already have a very clear idea how to use should, right? Because it is like a modal verb that is very, but very common and useful. So before we go, uh, I need you to write four types of equipment in your company. When I say equipment, you can talk about machinery, you can talk about technological system, and you can talk about different office uh, equipment, okay? So it depends on you even. That is a four copy machine. Also, could it be like a coffee maker? Uh, could it be like whatever comes to your mind that is an equipment in your company, okay? So you can write it at least four types of things. If you have, for example, yeah, printer, of course, if you have some other, like, uh, could it be like a coffee machine? Whatever comes to your mind, okay? Think about four of your equipment. Well, not your, but equipment that you can find in your company, okay? And then we come back. Try to think about the things that they are really useful in your workplace.
Okay, here we have some of the, your answers. We're going to start with Eduardo. Okay, Eduardo, could you mention, please, uh, parts or types of equipment that you have in your job? Computer, cell phone, printer, and calculator. Oh, that's it. Really useful. Something that you have contact with. And now let's listen to Guillermo and then Daniel. Paint chair. Mm, printer, computer, coffee machine, and projector. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, it's related to office uh, equipment, right? Uh, Daniel and John. Vehicles, computers, cell phones, and printer. No, that's it. Okay, uh, John, and then we go with Katia. Okay. In my company, I use a stampler, a faster printer desk. Uh, well, no sé si se dice uh, take a bite um, in sacabocado. Uh, not necessarily. I'm going to write it. Ya lo voy a escribir. Katia. Okay. Thank you, John. Okay. Uh, machine, printer, and uh, Call volumes and my hello, hello, hello. Okay, and my cat is having some difficulties. Bien, creo que bueno. Thank you, Katia. Uh, Christy, hello. Here we have, and also Evelyn. Could you mention, uh, hello? Could you mention some yes. of the equipment, please? Okay. Um, computer, internet, printer, and photocopies. Okay, photocopies. Thank you. What about you, Evelyn? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Computer, printer, and a pencil table. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Computer, printer. Okay, that's nice. Rosalie, what about you? Or maybe Rosalie is not like available. Maybe we can have. I don't know. Andre, I guess you are like. As a listener. Okay, maybe not. Okay, we're going to continue. Uh, in the case, uh, let me check this. You can say like this hole punch in el caso de perforador. Puede decirlo así, hole punch, porque stapler es eh, grapadora y tenemos otros, ¿verdad? Que se han hablado como printer and some other. So, Thank you, and we're going to talk about some equipment that everybody has in his or her workplace. That depends on the nature of every company, right? So uh, we're going to have this, uh, the, the attendance list, telephone language, uh, continue with the same topic. Taking a message for someone, message, message, como messenger, message. Okay, taking a message for someone. We have seven, seven options. Number one, Kim's not in. Who's this? Next. I'm sorry, Lisa's not here at the moment. Can I ask who's calling? I'm afraid he stepped out. Would you like to leave a message? Um, he's on a lunch break right now. Who's calling, please? Next. He's busy right now. 
Can you call again? Next, I let her know you called. And I made sure she's, she gets the message, okay? I'm going to call one by one uh, your name. So say hi, hello, good evening. And please um, say uh, one of these uh, phrases, okay? Adi Beatriz, I guess is not here, right? But here we have Christy. Hello, Christy. Hello, teacher. Um, she's busy right now. Uh, Can she's you... busy. Busy. She is busy right now. Can you call again? Okay, thank you. Uh, Luisa, are you there? I guess Luisa is not here. Okay, Andre, I guess uh, he's uh, as a listener. So we're going to have uh, Rivas, are you there? Okay, maybe not, not by the moment. Okay, um, Andre, uh, it's as a listener. Daniel, hi. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry, Lisa's not here at the moment. Can I ask? Can I ask who is calling? Yeah, good one. Thank you. David, are you there, David? Not by the moment. Evelyn, hi. I'm sorry, Lisa, not here at the moment. Okay, not here. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo, what about you? Hi. Hey, teacher. Um, I am afraid he's stepped out. Mm -hmm. Would you like to leave a message? Yeah, good one. And John, your turn. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Uh, here I am. Um, I choose one, two, three, four, five. Uh, she's busy right now. Can you call again? Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Katya. Hello there, Katya. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Kim's not in. Who's this? Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Maritza. I don't know if Maritza is connected now. Maybe later. Uh, Gustavo. Yes, right. Gustavo is here with us. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, he's uh, on lunch break right right now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oscar Daniel? I guess. Hello, teacher. Hello, Oscar. Um, I make sure she gets the message. Mm -hmm. The message. Thank you. Okay, uh, Eduardo, please. Present. I'm sorry, Lisa's not here at the moment. Can I ask who's calling? Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. And Rosalie, that she is as a listener, right? Okay. So, uh, thank you, my friends. We're going to we're going to continue with some other subjects. We're going to study should, right? Remember that that's the topic for tonight. How to use should, but I'm pretty sure that you already know how to use it, right? Just to remember that the speaking activity, solo recordarles, la speaking activity is if you had $1 million and you had to spend it in one day, what would you do? And then we're going to work with the talk about activity. The best holiday you remember. Pueden ser las la, la mejores celebraciones, vacaciones, días que pasaron, you, you, days that you spend with your family. Okay. But uh, before we continue with this, we're going to check this. Okay. Um, in this case, uh, we already answered this question. What type of equipment is there in your company, okay? Uh, do you use, yeah, I guess you use the, most of the, 
most of the equipment that you mentioned. Okay, we have Peter and Berta, okay? Peter says, Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Berta says, I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay. So should is deberíamos. ¿Qué debería ser? ¿Qué debería de pasar? Okay. So maybe we can notice a couple of verbs. Important. Improve significa mejorar. Improve. Okay. And also... Cuando decimos, I believe so, significa yo creo eso. Similar to I think so. Cuando dicen, I think so, yo pienso así. Yo creo, yo pienso eso. I believe so, yo creo eso. Ok. So, um, and why do you ask? Because if we do so, y si nosotros hacemos eso, if we do so, es una frase, ¿verdad? We reduce costs, okay? Um, I guess you already know the, the rest of words, okay? We're going to practice a little bit and then we're going to answer some of the questions. The questions are like this. Let's pay attention to the questions just to have an idea what we're going to answer later. Uh, we have to say if it is true or false. How is manufacturing process in your company? Uh, okay. I guess it's... No se trata de si es cierto o falso. Creo que la indicación está mala. It's, it's wrong here. Es una pregunta abierta. How is the manufacturing process in your company? Number two, what do you think about the equipment at your company? Does it need to be upgraded? Why? Okay. So... Um, Let's see, maybe we can have some screenshots for this and we're going to have some practice. Let's see if you could stand it. Maybe one of you, I don't know if John is available or Gustavo, I don't know, because Maritza, okay, John. Thank you, my friend. It's a pleasure. Okay, and we're going to practice a little bit, then we're going to study the modal uh, verb that is should. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, see you in a moment. Let's practice. Recuerden intercambiar diálogos. Evelyn, ya te envié la solicitud.
Evelyn, eh, ¿viste la solicitud que te envié? ¿La anotaste? Sí, pero fíjate que me está dando internet, entonces, okay. entonces me sacó, me está dando problemas el internet y entonces me sacó. Permítame. De... Déjame revisar aquí. Ok, prueba ahora.
Mirad que no le veo a la niña. Okay, my friends, let's listen to some of your pronunciation and then we continue with some other exercises that we have here. Maybe John can help us. John, could you practice because you have some difficulties at the beginning with some of your classmates because you were alone. But uh, could you please? Uh, well, es, estuve con un equipo de baloncesto, pero al final todos se salieron, dicho. Yeah, I, I, that's why I included some of the participants. But okay, you were alone. Okay, maybe John, you can be Peter. And I'm going to select Katia to be Berta. Yeah. Katia, can you help us, please? Okay, teacher. Sí, con quien participé ya no se conectó, la sacó completamente. Ah, uh, posiblemente, yeah. Posiblemente uh -huh. la, la estabilidad de, de la señal. Ok, okay Peter, I, I, John, and Katia, Berta. Ok, let's start. Um, Berta, do you think that our company should provide the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Uh, because if we, if we do so, uh, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we shall do what other companies are doing. And um, that's it. Creating new equipment and mean we shall not have, have the same machine with the same programs. We shall be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, and uh, maybe we could have participation of Christy and Daniel. 
Christy, please. Uh, your teacher? Berta and Daniel could be Peter. Okay. Thank you. Berta, Berta, do you think that our company should improve, improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we produce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machine with the same programs. We shall be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Thank you very much, okay? Very well pronunciation, my friends. Let's see here, what do we have in this question? Number one, how is the manufacturing process in your company? Okay, um, I guess we have different steps, right? In different companies. Maybe I guess that is a long answer. Let me see if we have here. Yeah, we're going to do that later. The process in which uh, your company provides a service or provides a, a product, but even every service or product that your company gives, it has its own process, maybe manufacturing or uh, maybe because uh, people or some other company suggest. Así que ya vamos a ver ese tema. Number one. Number two, what do you think about the equipment at your company? Does it need to be upgraded? Okay, uh, I need you to be, okay, to thumb up. Me van a hacer, verdad, pulgar arriba. If you consider that your company should change part of the equipment, su compañía eh, o el lugar donde trabaja debería de, de haber un cambio de equipo. Or it's okay. If it is okay, don't do anything, okay? But if you consider that your company should have a change, please thumb up, okay? Maybe related to machines, related to maybe even the office, okay? That's part of the equipment, okay? Yeah, Christy says yes, maybe uh, an improvement, una mejora. Eduardo says yes, okay, yeah. John says that it's okay. Right, John? No problem. You can work with that, with equipment. Okay. Katia says yes. Ah, John says yes as well. Okay. We're going to talk about this later because I consider that and there are some limitations involving your results. Okay. But, okay. Here we have this. Modal verbs. We have should, okay? And we have three types of use of should. Remember that we have modal verbs. Tenemos tres tipos de verbos modales. Should, could, and remember that the pronunciation is should. In this, the pronunciation is could, and in here, their pronunciation is would. Okay, so we omit letter O and omit letter L. Okay, so that's it. Those are silent letters, son letras silenciosas. We don't pronounce them, but we just say should, could, would. But in this case, we're going to focus just in the should, okay? So in this case, um, let's read part of this. Model verbs. John, could you help me please advise? That is the first one. You should. Advice is the first one, okay? Could you help me read it? Uh, yo, I am teacher. Yeah, yeah. please. Okay. I'm going to sorry. show. I'm sorry because the my mouse is dying. Ya está muriendo el pobre mouse. Okay, <laughs> okay. so this. Uh, 
Yeah, you should eat. You should eat more fruits and vegetables. I think we should wait for here now. You should uh, take a break and get some rest. Okay, that's it. Yeah, you should eat more. You should wait. You should take a break. Okay, thank you. Now let's listen, Eduardo, with obligation. Okay. You should talk to work. You should save some money. You should do more exercise. Okay. Even I, thank you, Eduardo. I consider that these ones are like advice. Son como sugerencias. Ah, por cierto, la palabra advice es singular y plural. Es consejo, consejos. Sugerencias, sugerencias. Okay. So, um, in this case, I uh, consider that it is an obligation, but depends on the context. For example, you should save some money. That could be an obligation in the case of you have problems with your finance. If you have problems with your with the administration of your money every month. So that's an obligation. But if you don't have too much problem with your uh, with the administration of, of your money, mm, I guess it's a, an advice, not an obligation. Okay, in this case, you should do more exercise. Okay, if you are overweight, yeah, you should do more exercise. But if you eat healthy, if you practice sports, like, yeah, it will be an advice, but not an obligation. But depends on the context. Let's uh, listen, probability and expectation. Gustavo, could you help me, please? Okay, teacher. A ticket, a ticket. A ticket to Paris should cost a lot. I smell bread baking. There should be a bakery nearby. Nearby. Mm -hmm. This should, should be Mark House. Okay, thank you. Uh, here we have the pronunciation is shouldn't. That's the pronunciation. Should not, shouldn't. Okay. Como could not is couldn't. Y aquí wouldn't. Si se dan cuenta la pronunciación de ain't es bastante, eh, tiene bastante presencia. Okay. So here. Here we have probability expectation some probabilities i consider that this can be applied for example a ticket to paris should cost a lot if we talk about concert here in el salvador we may say a ticket to um i don't know any artist that comes it uh, should cost a lot okay i smell a uh, break a uh, baking there should be a bakery nearby, and that's so uh, delicious. That smell, el, el olor a, a pancito cuando se está horneando, that's really nice. This shouldn't be Mark's house. So, yeah, I consider that probability and expectations are very punctual and very detailed. Como que se detalla bastante. So, in conclusion, we may say that we have three types of uh, use for modal verbs should advise consejo obligation it is obvious right and probability or expectation right honestly i consider that uh, modal verbs like should it is more focused on advised but let's check this here we have some exercises and in this case we have to say should or should then. Of course, you may say should not. That's not a problem. But if you use the contraction, you can use student. When you go back, for example, what you should or should not do when you go back to school. ¿Qué es lo que deberías o no deberías hacer cuando regreses a la escuela? Tomando en cuenta, taking into account, 
that this was based on COVID. COVID times. Eso fue basado en después del tiemp el tiempo de pandemia. So maybe we can have a context because we live that time. So when uh, people que went back to work or to study, yeah, we have a different point of view of, of healthy habits. So uh, take a look at this. I'm going to ask you in a couple of seconds. Okay, uh, let's try to complete this. There are just 10 sentences and we have, as always, Guillermo as the first participant. Hey teacher, okay, tell me. Uh, number 10, you should uh, have a bottle of water. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I do remember that it was really common when we were at school that we could share the same bottle and we were drinking water in the same bottle for three, four, five people. That's something that changed a lot. Thank you, Guillermo. Who else? I guess yeah, these are number like... One. Very... Maybe number one. Mm -hmm. You... Uh, shouldn't call when it's easy in your elbow. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, you shouldn't uh, cough and sneeze in your elbow. No deberías toser o estornudar en tu codo. Sería debería o no deberías? Uh, should or should? Should. should. Yeah, should. I guess it's should, right? Yeah. But this sentence sounds like difference, como que suena different. But yeah, it should, yeah. And have you noticed there are some people that they cough freely? Ellos a veces tosen libremente ni se tapan. That's something disgusting. Thank you, Christy. Uh, let's listen to Daniel, please. You, yes. the, the number nine, please. you should play football or basketball with your friends. Okay, could it be? If we are talking about, yeah, to be healthy, a bit. Okay, now what if we listen to Eduardo and then Gustavo? Mm, the number three? Yeah. You shouldn't keep a distance with your classmate. You should, pardon? Yeah. You should, right? You should see, yeah. keep a distance with your classmate and your yes, teacher. Mantener la distancia. Yeah. Remember that when we came back to work, uh, like presential, and we you, we were using mask, yeah, distance was very important. Thank you. Okay, we go with Gustavo and then John. Gustavo, are you ready with yours? 
Okay, teacher. Uh, the number five. Yeah. You should, should uh, frequent, frequently wash your hands. Yeah, frequently. Yeah, that's something that I consider that was the key. Punto clave. This is like very, very important to wash your hands frequently. I do it more times than in the past in comparison. John, what about you? Um, uh, let me see. Number seven. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't always sit at the same table. Okay. No te deberías sentar siempre en la misma mesa. You shouldn't. You consider maybe? No. Well, could it be? No siempre va a estar disponible. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not always. Thank you. What about Maritza and then Katy? Number Maritza? six. Okay, yeah, thank you. You should not touch your classmates' pens or books. Or books, yeah. Um, I guess it was like habits, different habits, uh, not to share things, no compartir cosas, right? For example, pens or books or whatever, right? Okay, uh, maybe we can have Katia, and after Katia, we can have Oscar, Daniel. Okay, number eight. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't owe your friends. Okay, yeah, that's that's that was not permitted. That was not allowed. Uh, abrazar a tus like amigos. <laughs> I'm sorry? I don't like it. Ah, you don't like it? No. <laughs> okay, so you were happy. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yeah, similar to my brother. He doesn't like to shake hands. No le gusta dar la mano. So he was very happy when he listened to uh, these uh, limitations. Okay. I am selective. <laughs> Okay, good, Kathy. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Thank you. Oscar, Daniel, please. Um, you, uh, number, number four. Huh? Uh, you, uh, you should sit next to a classmate. Okay, maybe we can say shouldn't. Because uh, next, uh -huh. como sentarse a la par, como que no mucho. Yeah, shouldn't sit next to a classmate. Um, here we have you throw, es tirar. Throw away, use tissues into a bin. Tissues, es, son como toallitas sanitarias, puede ser como yeah, papel, ok. Uh, bin es como el basurero. You, you should, yeah. When you use this, definitely. We have to be clean. Thank you. Let's move. And, and let's start with this uh, ironic uh, question. If you had $1 million and you had to spend it in one day, listen, you have that quantity of money, but you have to spend it in just one day. What would you do? It is different when you have your life or you have five years, 10 years to spend it. I know $1 million in the past was a lot of money, but nowadays it is like, yes, it is a big quantity, but so maybe we can have Eduardo and then we go with John. Okay, Eduardo, do you have your opinion about this? I have a, a million of dollars to one day. I Maybe I buy... Um, some properties mm -hmm. and I like the parties. I do many parties. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can, you can make even one, one, but really big party and buy properties. I guess money, $1 million in properties, it, it, that's going to run out. Eso se va a terminar rápido. When we say run out, you can write this verb. This verb. For example. Uh, 
I'm running out of paper. Me estoy acabando el papel. Or the gas is running out. La gasolina se está acabando. Okay, so run out is to say when something is about to finish. Okay. So yeah, the money is run out, running out when you want to buy some properties. Uh, let's listen to John and then Oscar Daniel. Okay, please. If you have it's one minute. A, it's a crazy, you know? Well, well, I good, I good buy some, then I saw, um, I good buy some 10 houses, but, but at $700? $700? Seventy hundred dollar. I will put the rest in the in the in the bank, and and I live on real estate. So so I will help my whole family. I think. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I guess that that's very clever to buy a house like uh, expensive house. You can sell it later, right? You can get some money from that. Yeah. Why not, John? Thank you. And Oscar, yeah. Daniel, and then we go with Guillermo. Uh, okay, teacher. Um, if I was one million dollars to spend in one day, uh, I will buy very houses, cars, uh, construction machines, and building, buildings of apartments in United States. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess construction machines are really, really expensive. So you, yes. can, you can get money from that later. Yeah, because you have $1 million, you have to spend it in one day. You can buy expensive things. Yeah, very, very intelligent. Thank you, Oscar. What about Guillermo? Okay, teacher. Um, I will, I will buy a mansion in an exclusive area of the city, and a couple of cars, and the rest I will invest in some business. Okay, some business. Mm -hmm. oh, be nice. Okay, I like that idea. What about Katia? Okay, that is going to be later. Uh, Christy, mm, tú no me has dicho todavía, ¿verdad? Aquí. No, right? Yes, okay. No, no, no. Okay, Christy, um, what, what, what's your opinion about this? Um... Um first I will pay for my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will eat delicious food. Definitely. And the rest I will distribute um it to my family, friends, foster homes, or your family, teacher, your teacher the church, and then see my my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even if you want to distribute. The money is going to run out. Te va a acabar rápido también when you distribute it's, money. Teacher, it's only one day. Only yes. one day. Yeah, you have to say goodbye to that quantity of money. Yeah, <laughs> one day. Yeah, and everybody's going to be happy, right? Ah, oh, Christy gave us thousands of dollars. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Christy. And uh, interesting, you can even give money to some... Uh, charges or some people that they need. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And maybe to finish this uh, round, we're going to listen Maritza and then Luisa. Okay, Maritza. First, I could go to the supermarket and buy food for my grandparents and us. Second, I could buy a house and lastly, I would buy a card. Okay, yeah, you can do it one day. Yeah, definitely. 
Nice, uh, Maritza. I like it. Luisa, are you ready? Are you there? Okay. Um, buy a big house for my family and help uh, people in need and mm. save the rest. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, I I have heard that one of the first things that you say is like help your family, give money for food or house. I consider that that's really, really important. Okay. Let's move to this part. And here we have how to use should. Okay. In this case, uh, here we have should is a modal verb to give advice or talk about what we think is right or wrong, lo que está bien y lo que está mal, y para dar consejos. Structure, subject plus should or should not, verb plus complement, okay? We should upgrade our system. We should not continue with the same market. They should bring new equipment. This company should broad these targets, okay? And let's see here, uh, here we have complete the statements using should or should not. Compare your answers with your partner, okay? This is really easy, should, okay, or should not. Any idea of this? Very simple because we have just five. Our products, this company, we, the machinery, all the employees, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can have an idea and then let's move it. Okay, let's move. Maybe we can have some of your participations. Oscar, Daniel, do you have any idea from one to five? Should or should not? Should. Okay, mm -hmm. what number? Uh, number one. Okay, read the sentence, please. Our products, our products should be fresh. Definitely, yes, especially if you work with food, if you work with something that, yes, is from first need. Thank you. Our product should be fresh. Imagine a restaurant, supermarket, all those things. Okay, uh, here we have from two to five, we can have Eduardo and then David. In the number two, this company shouldn't forget about quality. Thank you. Um, this is so, but so basic. Have you noticed that there are some pupuserias or some restaurants in which at the beginning they have good products, but even bakery, panaderias, the first year, good. Second year, yes. Third year, mm, not too much. And then the quality of the product changes. I guess all of us have had that experience that you consume one product and you say, yeah, good quality. But after some time, the quality changes and that decreases. So uh, companies or enterprises shouldn't forget quality. Um, Oscar, Daniel, uh, David, I'm sorry. David, and they we go with Andre. Okay, David. Okay, teacher. Oh. Thank you, teacher. Number five, 
-hmm. All the employees should use the machinery. Okay, yeah, something very uh, real. Um, definitely, they should have tra training before. Necesitan capacitación, right? So if they have training, yeah, all the police should use the machinery. And uh, Andre, I don't know if you're ready, if you can help us with number three and four, and then we go with some other. Okay, Andre, three or four. Okay. We, we should explore new markets. Yeah. Every company and enterprise should have plans for exploring markets. That's part yes. of the nature of companies. Hey, maybe John can help us with number four, the machinery. Okay, number four, the machinery shouldn't be whole. Yeah, imagine. Uh, we were saying that there are some equipment that we have to change in every company. Not only the equipment, but also different aspects, right? So, yeah, yeah. part of this. So, this is uh, like the main explanation about Shura Student. Uh, something that you are going to find in the platform. Remember to complete platform because tomorrow I'm going to check the, the grades. I'm going to check the advances that you have. So, um, let's move. In this part, here we have this instruction related to explain a product of uh, equipment in your company. I guess we can have what shouldn't do about change. For example, you can say, Let's write three, three uh, advice, three sugerencias. One example, HR company should change the office equipment. We can say, si no quieren decir eso, pueden decir my workplace. Si no quieren poner el nombre de, de la empresa, my workplace uh, shouldn't uh, change the person. Cuando decimos personal, es el personal en general. Pero cuando decimos personal, es de una persona. So, personal es todos los empleados. Ok. Uh, please, I need you to write three on the chat. Please. And so, we can have an idea. Use should or shouldn't. Should or shouldn't. And text it on the chat. We're going to read them later. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Think about your company. I know that you have good ideas. I know that you say, if I were the boss, if I were a jefe, if I were the supervisor, if I were the manager, I should change this. I should apply these uh, new methodologies. I should yeah, train the employees. I should uh, provide equipment security equipment, uniforms. So that's it. I know you as employees have a lot of ideas because you do perceive the need, the necessity on the company. Okay, I guess this is going to be really important and really interesting.
Okay, here we have some of the suggestions. Yeah, I guess here we have Christy is divided your message. Please, Christy, mention your two advice, the suggestions for your school. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my school. Ahorita. Um, in my school, they should update the tablets. Number two. Number two. In my school, they should put air conditioning in the teacher's room. At least, at <laughs> least in the teacher's room. I guess that's so, but so important. <laughs> yeah, come on. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's listen now to Eduardo and then Daniel. Okay, Eduardo. Okay, teacher. Uh, Ingeniería Verde should change the process to give a sample. Ingeniería Verde should hire more personnel. And Ingeniería Verde should give more days to rest in location. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Imagine how you have perceived the need. Okay, more personal. It means that uh, the personnel that currently have that company, it is not enough. You need more people, right? Right. Nice. And of course, more rest in vacation. You need it. It's, it's necessary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Daniel and then David. Okay. My job should have a workshop. Okay. This company should should work lower price. Uh -huh. And my job should be better paid. Okay. If you mention lower prices, it means that maybe there are some difficulties on sales, right? So that's why you are mentioning that. And definitely should be better paid. I guess every employee thinks like that. Thank yeah. you. Uh, very nice. Let's listen to David, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, in my work space, place, uh, the space condition should be improved. Mm -hmm. Improved. Aha, uh -huh. improved. improved. Nice. Improved. You have mm -hmm. some other? Uh, space is very lim limited, limited in some, mm -hmm, in some office. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I understand that. I guess that's something that maybe limits the production, definitely. Thank you, David. Okay. What about Guillermo and John? Okay, teacher, in my case, um, my company, Web Help, to change their cameras. And also, they should change the supplier of the cafeteria. And also, they should change the computers. Oh, yeah. I guess that's an update uh, in, in different aspects from, from your company, right? So, yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, very specific. Thank you. John and then Maritza. Okay, John, what's your point? Mm -hmm. Okay, in my company, should change the shares that are more ergonomic. Oh, okay. Um, but in my company, shouldn't let workers ruin the toilet. I don't know why it happens. But especially, uh, okay, tell me, men or women's toilets? Men's toilet. Men's, right? It, I don't know why, why is that, that men, they have a tendency to ruin the toilet. I don't know. What, well, too much um, power. Yeah. Three? In my in my company should improve. Um, how do you say salary? Uh, yes, yeah, salaries or payment. Payments okay. or salaries. My company okay. should improve payments. Okay. Uh, I guess you have perceived that in your your 
co-workers, your colleagues have talked about this, I guess, right? So that, that's yeah. one of the reasons you're mentioning that. Then look at the first one. Uh, you need like a different chair, more ergonomic. Even companies don't get that, but uh, the comfortability of employees can be like a very important factor to produce more. Yeah. If employees are, are okay, if they feel good, they can produce more, right? But yeah, in El Salvador, I guess that's not one of the priorities of the companies. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And thank you. Thank you, John. Very interesting. Let's listen to Maritza and then Luis. My workplace should represent the office. Okay. Number two, my golf face should change the personnel. And my workplace should change internal control process. Okay, nice. Well, very, very well said. If you're mentioning changing personnel, it means that there are some uh, workers that they are not doing a good job. Okay, so that, that happens as well. Internal control process. Mm -hmm. I understand, Maritza. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very specific. Uh, Luisa, and then go with Gustavo. Okay. Short trying stuff. Um, and the should by very death on chair. And the should evaluate the staff fairly. Fairly. Okay, nice. I consider train staff. Believe me, training staff frequently, it's one of the best things that uh, every company should do. But in the case of better death, okay, similar to some other participants. Yeah, I can imagine the conditions or in the conditions I have worked in different enterprises. And look at this, should evaluate the staff fairly. Mm -hmm. Yeah part of the justice. Thank you. Gustavo. Okay, teacher. In Hello. my company, sure hear more stuff. Uh, my my college should should have better summer service. My okay. company sure not have old cars. Okay, yeah. And even uh, you can have a lot of accidents. Uh, yeah, a, a lot of things. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, look at this. Uh, my company should hire more staff. If you notice, I have, I guess we have three uh, similar uh, suggestions. More personal, more people, okay? Because you are overloaded. Están sobrecargados. If you notice, here in El Salvador, we usually are overloaded. So that's something that unfortunately happens. Thank you for all your answers. I consider that they are so important. Your opinions are so important. That's why I always uh, give you uh, speaking activities. If you had $1 million and you had to spend it in one day, what would you do? Okay, so maybe we can have Daniel and then Evelyn. Okay, Daniel, what would you do with $1 million in one day? Okay, if I had a $1 million, I will buy a share of some company. Oh, okay. Okay, Sp specifically that, right? Companies. Mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. change of company. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, why not? Evelyn, and then uh, we go with Katia. Okay, Evelyn, do you have your idea? Okay, maybe everything is not ready by the moment. And uh, what about uh, Katia and then David? Katia, are you ready with your comment? Uh, yes. Uh, I should play all the family devs. I should buy the house for my mother. I should buy the construction material to finish my house. And I should buy everything I need to start my own business and if it was in going 
Okay, I guess you need more than one million dollars, Katia, but good for you because <laughs> you have like very specific uh, uh, needs and you are very clear in what you are doing and what you want to do. Okay, so congratulations because you have plans for the future. I like to hear that. Thank you, Katia. And what about David? Hey, teacher, in my case, uh, first, I will pay all my debts and those of my parents. Uh, mm -hmm. Second, I will buy a house, furniture, and a new car. Uh, third, I will invest in a property table uh, business, for example, a food business. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, if time is running out, I will look for people who need money and charity. Okay, yeah, I like it. Very nice. And I have heard like four people saying that they would pay the debt. So important. Yeah, pagar la deuda. So that's so necessary. So thank you, uh, David. We're going to listen to Gustavo and then Andre. Gustavo, are you ready with your opinion? Okay, teacher. If, if I have a million dollars and I have to spend a part of it, a world share it with my family and friends and another part, I will in, invest to gener, generate more. The rest I will spend on expensive treats and home. Okay, I like it. Yeah, very, very well said, uh, Gustavo. Thank you. Andre, are you ready with, to say your opinion? Okay. Uh, we... One million, I I buy uh, four or five houses mm -hmm. and invite uh, my family to it. My okay. family is very big, and I would like travel to to the world. Okay. And mm -hmm. I buy several cars. Yeah. And, yeah. Why yeah. not? Why not? You can yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Andre. Yeah. Travel around the world, buying some cars. Definitely it is. Okay. And now we have uh, Christina's show, right? What's the name of this song? And um, she has prepared the yeah, parts of a song. I know it is difficult to listen music because of the copyright, so we cannot listen from YouTube or from the the audio. But we, what we can do is to read, read the lyrics, and maybe John can sing it. Maybe or maybe not in some other time. No, no problem. Okay, okay. Uh, Christy, now you can share it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my okay. Yeah. Yeah, no no, it's ready for you to share. Okay. Um no sé si está por ahí Rosalía, creo que. Que ya decía que no dijéramos el nombre de la canción. <laughs> ah, Rosalía. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> mm, eh because the greatest love of all is happening to me, I found the greatest love of all inside of me. The greatest love of all is easy to achieve. Learning to love yourself, it is the greatest love of all. And the... Palabras, how do you say? 
words, the words, the words yeah. The words um, uh, identify the greatest uh, superlatives yes. happening, happening, a uh, present progressive. I found simple past inside is a verb. Easy one adjective. Uh, learning as ing with Jaron. Yourself is pronoun and to love. To love uh, is infinitive and it is simple present. Simple present verb. Yes, Christy. Verbi, well yes. done. Well done. I know that you. You took some a couple of minutes doing this, right? <laughs> no, we can notice, yes. and so I don't know. It sounds like a Christian song, not not at all. Mm, no, sabe cuál es? We need. No. We Houston is such. Yes, because the Houston. greatest yes. Yes. is happening to me. Ah, of course. I found out. Si, si lo hubiera cantado, hubiera sido más fácil. <laughs> Christy, you have a good voice. Christy, you have a good voice. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. really good. Thank you. Very good, very good. Okay, what's the name of this song? Because I have heard, but I, I don't know the, the, the name. The name of the song? Yeah, The Greatest Love, is that? The Greatest no. Love, yes. Yeah, that's the name. Okay, I'm going to look for yeah. that in Spotify because I remember that this song is kind of famous, but I don't know. Yeah, as many, <laughs> as many songs. Thank you, uh, Christy. Okay. Well done, congratulations, because of your presentation was so nice. Let me check this. Maybe we can have for the next. Luisa, are you there? Luisa. Okay, Luisa se está poniendo, no problem. Daniel. Are you there, Daniel? Hi, teacher. Uh, could you uh, prepare your song for tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, it can be similar to Chrissy or similar to Rivas or similar to me. Depends on you. It is not necessary to have the same format. I depend on how you can do it. Okay, so thank you, Daniel. Tomorrow we're going to uh, study the grammar part of that song. Okay? okay. So I like it. Yeah, Whitney Houston. A great voice. Yes. Well, me um, too, teacher. Me too. I congratulations, love Anna. It's very uh, yeah, nice. Thank you. <laughs> nice voice. Uh, yeah, good voice from Christy. It sounds really good. That's nothing. That's another that is. I've got nothing. Awesome. Yes. From Winnie Houston. Yes. Nothing. What? I don't remember. I, I will always love you. No, that's uh, yeah, that's one of the the, the most famous as the body. I one. don't remember. I'm going to remember. I'm going to say it in in a couple of seconds to because you yeah, nothing. No, I have nothing. I, I have, have nothing. 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 Yeah. Yes. Really good. Okay. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you for uh, yeah, sharing that kind of music. I guess some of the participants remember an ancient love. Yeah, se acordaron de un amor antiguo. Yeah, could it happen? <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay, uh, thank you, Chris. Here we have good. Okay, we are already uh, studied this related to advice or suggestion. Yeah. Situation likely in present, likely in the future. Should uh, have past participle to um okay i guess the most useful are this i'm sorry my mouse is getting crazy okay i know that this a grammar point we're going to use it like this we're going to check 
specifically this part and we're going to use these parts so we can understand completely. Okay, advice or suggestion? Gustavo, could you read this sentence, please? Okay, teacher. Advice or you su suggestion? Suggestion. Mm -hmm. Your your height is too low. Uh, you should get a. Mm -hmm. You should get a haircut. It is when uh, you, in your appearance, you look la, like weird or strange. So a person can say, you should get a haircut. Okay. And now let's go with situation likely in present. Uh, David, please help me, my friend. Mary should. Mary should be at home now. Give her a call. Give her a call. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. And here we have uh, likely the future. Maritza, could you help me, please? They should. They should we buy a tonight. They, they are a team. They are a team. Thank you. And this is a prediction. Talking about future event that is not, well, that has not happened yet. Okay. We use shouldn't. Okay. Uh, Guillermo, are you there, my friend? Yes, teacher. Please, I need we... you to read the first part of this chart, the red one. Okay. We use shouldn't to advise not to do something, usually because it is uh, bad or wrong. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this is practically what our mothers and fathers say. You should not do this because blah, blah, blah. You should not do this at school, on street, and so on. Okay. Uh, Christy, please, I need you to read the first sentence that it's negative. Okay. You shouldn't throw your little onto the street. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to Daniel. He shouldn't. He shouldn't play with those guys if that doesn't know what the what he's is doing. doing. Thank you. Yeah. And you shouldn't work so much. Okay, practically it's something you shouldn't do that. No debería hacer eso. Aquí tenemos el how to, pero el how to es como el have to. No lo vamos a explicar porque no lo vamos a practicar. Así que solo que les quede, vaya, que les quede una idea. Que este how to es como decir have to. You have to. Es como how to. But, okay, the time is passing by. El tiempo está pasando algo rápido. So, in this case, eh, you have given advice. Vamos a dar sugerencias. Should or shouldn't. Read the sentence carefully and then fill in the gaps giving advice using should or shouldn't. Okay, if you notice here we have from one to 15 sentences, uh, we're going to work in pairs, trabajamos en equipos, uh, un par de minutos, luego regresamos acá, okay? I need you to have screenshots of this, please. Uh, commonly Maritza or John or I don't know who else. Commonly, oh, thank you, John. So quickly, and we have the explanation, but also remember that we are talking about advice. Como estamos hablando acerca de sugerencias, de consejos, creo que es bastante práctico, uh, because something that it is like cosas que se sugieren hacer y no hacer. Okay? See you in a moment, my friends.
Okay, please accept the request. Accept the solicitor and see you in a couple of minutes.
Okay, let's complete this. Uh, here we have advice, should or shouldn't. We have 15 sentences in which we have to give good suggestion, okay? Maybe we can have Katya ready. I don't know if Katya is ready with your sentence and yes, then we go with Daniel. Okay, um, number one. <laughs> is if Alice has purchased, she shouldn't go swimming today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Earache, dolor de oídos, uh, is really disgusting. So this person shouldn't definitely go swimming. Okay. Thank you. Daniel, are you there? Only one. Yeah, one. One number. Okay, the number 10. Mm -hmm. Jan has a terrible hatchet. How much is a health check? Headache. 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 He should he should take an aspirin and rest for a while. Yeah. Aspirin so important. And take a rest. Thank you. And what about Maritza and David? Number two. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't go out. If you have a bad cold. Mm -hmm. A bad cold, definitely. Bad idea. If you go, thank you. David, and then we go with Eduardo. Number three, teacher. Uh, Jill has high fever. We should take her the doctor. Yeah. Take her the doctor. Yeah. High fevers. Uh, that, that's dangerous. Okay, Eduardo and Christy. Number four, when you go to the beach, you should always use sun cream. Yeah, and nowadays it is more important because you can have sunburn. Okay, uh, let's listen to Christy. And after Christy, we're going to listen to Luisa. Okay, number 15. Uh, our daughter shouldn't go to school because she has chicken pox. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's practically what we should do. If our kids are not good, they should, shouldn't go to school. Se contamina todo. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And not only because of chicken pox, because and some other sickness. Yeah, that's terrible. Terrible. Yes. Especially if they are very young, very kids. Okay, uh, we'll go with Luisa and then John. Okay, just some uh, children eat so much fat food. He will fat on a lot those coins. Okay. Six, right? Six. Sorry. Okay, okay yeah, thank you. Uh, very nice. It is so important to eat healthy. John, and after John, we go with Gustavo. Okay, let me see. Uh, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. 12. Uh, if you have a case, you shouldn't carry that heavy bag to work. And sometimes we do it because it's necessary, but it's not a good idea. Thank you. After... We go with Gustavo and then Guillermo. Okay, teacher, the number seven. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't visit the grandmother due to the coronavirus is under control. Oh, under control, yeah, that, that, that is related to the past experience, right? Thank you, uh, Guillermo and then Oscar Daniel. Okay, let me see. Number eight, Jade has a broken leg. She shouldn't walk anywhere for weeks. Mm -hmm. That's that's so true. Thank you. And what about Oscar Daniel? And then we go with Andre. Okay, teacher. Um, number five. Okay, number five. 
uh, Mark is always calling. Yes, he shouting, shouting. He oh, smoking. Okay, thank you. Eh, la palabra coughing, cuando veamos una G y una H, va a tener, eh, por ejemplo, cough, love. Va a sonar como una F. Cough, love. Cough significa toser, es como onomatopeico. Escuchen, cough, cough, cough. Y tenemos love. Es eh, reírse, carca, carcajadas. So, in this case, you have, Mark is always coughing. Como decir coffee, pero coughing. He should give up smoking. Él debería, debería darse por vencido. Give up es darse por vencido o, o parar de, de, de fumar. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know if Andre is there to participate. Uh, night. Okay. But feel ball field of the liner on his head. I think should have a X-ray taken. Yeah, so important X-ray. Thank you. Okay, we have three more. Maybe John can help us. And then Maritza. We have number 11, 13, and 14. Okay, let me see. Um, 13. Mm -hmm. Dirty Ali sits too close to the TV. I think she should have her eyes checked. Check, yeah. So important to you to wear glasses. I guess I need them as well. Thank you. Um, let's listen to Maritza and after Maritza, Guillermo. Number 11. Mm -hmm. Paul has, has had today. Today. Since Yesterday, I think he should go to the dentist. Yeah. We don't have a culture to go to the dentist in El Salvador. Yeah. Until we have to rake. Yeah. And we are like suffering because of the pain. It's really hard. Uh, 14, uh, Guillermo, if you please. Okay, number 14. If you have a cold. You should blow your nose with a tissue and throw it away. Yeah, and throw it away. Okay, my friends, thank you. Um, we have just four minutes to finish this, and we had even the talk about the best holiday uh, you remember, but I guess we're not going to uh, make it because uh, four minutes, uh, yeah, they passed. So far. So I'm going to check the attendance list. Say hi, hello, good evening. Uh, just to say something, Luisa, please stay after the class. Okay, Luisa? Okay. Luisa, hello. Okay, teacher. Yes, te quedas después de la clase. Okay, solo me dicen hola, eh, buenas noches, pero no se desconecten hasta que nos desconectemos todos, ¿verdad? Todavía no. Eh, Adi, creo que pues, estaba disponible. Cristi. Hello. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Luisa. Yes, right. Present. Thank you. Andre. Okay, let me check. Present. Thank you, Andre. Rivas not here. Uh, Daniel. Present teacher. Good night. Very nice. Thank you. David. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. And Evelyn, I don't know Evelyn what happened. And Guillermo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, John. Here I am and good night and see you tomorrow. Everyone. See you tomorrow, my friend. Thank you. Katia. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Maritza. Present. Thank you so much. Gustavo. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you, Oscar Daniel. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you, Eduardo. Present. And Rosalie was, thank you. And okay, Susie, I don't know if she was there. 
Okay, thank you, my friends. See you tomorrow, mañana viernesito. Remember to work on the platform. Recuerden trabajar en la plataforma, please, please, my friends. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Solo me quedo con Luis. Bye bye, my friends. Okay. Good, good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Adios, Adi. Bye bye. Okay. Adios, gracias. Adios, Adi. Vamos. Bye. Ok, eh, Luisa, ¿qué tal estás? Bien, teacher. Okay. Eh, un poquito con gripe y tos. Ah, gra ok, uh, I know it is like uh, uncomfortable, uh -huh. es incómodo, pero bueno. Eh, dos preguntas. La primera, ¿ya uh -huh. has tomado un curso de inglés aparte de, del eh, programa de inglés para el trabajo con Insofort? No, teacher, no había tomado anteriormente. Fuera de. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y el inglés que manejabas antes de entrar al programa de inglés para el trabajo era lo que viste en bachillerato en la universidad o, o es porque te gusta el inglés? Eh, de hecho, sí, llevamos inglés en la universidad, pero no fue tan así. Tan intensivo. Fueron como tres, ajá, tres módulos nada más. Uh -huh. no, no es, es más, es ajá. más. Eh, dosificado, ok. Eh, estuviste, la segunda pregunta es, ¿estuviste tra eh, en el programa de inglés con los meses anteriores o tuviste, has tenido pausas entre módulos? No, sí he estado en nivel anteriores. Lo único Conce que sí tengo que practicar más. Eso okay. sí lo sé. Me okay. cuesta un poquito, la verdad, pero sí tengo que practicar porque esto es de práctica. Sí, eh, Luisa, te digo porque en la primera clase quizás eh, te noté un poquito más tímida, pero ahora ya veo que ya, ya estás agarrando pues la, la, el hilo. Pues, eh, ya te diste cuenta que sí. mi metodología es de, de bastantes preguntas y hablamos de diferentes temas para generar fluidez. Mi objetivo uh, es que ustedes generen más fluidez. Uno y dos, uh -huh. que pierdan el temor o la inseguridad. Si pierdes la inseguridad, o el temor, ya la hiciste. Ok, sé que a veces uno tiene como miedo de equivocarse. Y si, no, y si me equivoco, conmigo no importa. Lo importante es que lo intentes okay. y vas a ir todavía mejorando. Así que te he escuchado un buen inglés, tienes una buena estructura gramatical. Este, escucho que a veces eh, preparas tus respuestas y esto se, se escucha bien, se escucha muy estructurado. Eh, solo que todavía te noto un de temor todavía. pero poco a poco lo vamos a ir quitando mediante te vayas eh, pues mientras vayas practicando y eh, no sé qué te han parecido las speaking activities consideras que, que, que sí te queda un poquito de tiempo para preparar la respuesta eh, de hecho Ticho no nos dejaban así anteriormente sino sí, es, que solo era que clase hago. así ajá, ajá. Ah. Exactamente, pero la verdad que sí está bien porque igual, o sea, todos ten, trabajamos la mayoría, ¿verdad? Claro, pero siempre sé. queda algún momento y, y tampoco es el gran montón que vamos a preparar, pero sí. Sí, pero eh, sí el... está bien porque así va uno, si no se sabe, pues investiga, practica. Ese como, es el punto. O pregunta. Es el punto. Eh, fíjate que eh, normalmente... Eh, yo no es que deje así trabajo, tareas extra, pero esas me gustan porque yo lo de las speaking activities intenté implementarlos en varios grupos. Es mi iniciativa, ¿verdad? Yo creo que ningún teacher lo ha hecho porque cada uh -huh. teacher tiene su metodología, cada teacher tiene su Exacto. forma y, y verdad, y, y sé que lo hacen muy bien. Solo que en lo mío he estado experimentando esto desde hace como dos años pero en los primeros meses notaba que cuando les ponían las preguntas así de la nada, eh, como que se quedaban, como que no sé qué responder, no, no, no sé qué, qué, qué idea, porque hay un, hay un, dentro del proceso de aprendizaje del inglés, algo que se llama silent period, y eso quiero que lo, que, que, que lo captes. El silent period uh -huh. es el periodo silencioso, es cuando tú conoces varias palabras, eh, estructura gramatical, pero hay algo que te limita y no hablas es miedo, es que en ese momento te quedas en blanco, en shock, y ¿qué digo, qué digo? y quieres traducir, entonces ese silent period 
quiero normalmente minimizarlo y que esa etapa la pasen rápido para que después ya hablen, hablen. Eh, hay algunos que han estado conmigo desde el módulo pasado, solo el módulo pasado, no anterior, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, Gustavo, Maritza, Guillermo. Entonces, si te das cuenta, hay algunos de ellos que rápido me contestan y todo porque ya tienen un módulo y ya saben cómo pues, yo, yo, yo uh -huh. pregunto. Pero eso no quiere decir que los demás no van a captar. Eh, de hecho, yo siento que tú te has adaptado muy bien. En fin, lo que te quería comentar es que eh, me ha funcionado más las speaking activities cuando las envío durante la mañana porque ellos están, como, están trabajando cada quien en su jornada, pero dicen, ah, tengo eh, tarea, clase de inglés. Entonces, ya el inglés está en su en, en ya presente. Entonces, y así uh -huh. que, pues eso, Luisa, yo considero que tienes muy buena pronunciación y gramática. Lo que te hace falta un poquito de vocabulario, pero a, a medida de, de que vayamos trabajando las speaking activities, creo que lo vas a, vas a adquirirlo más. Sí, de hecho, ayer estaba hablando con un compañero, igual, de que me comentaron de que usted les había dado el módulo anterior. Entonces, eso es bueno. La verdad, fíjese que a mí me pareciera que, el, no sé, no sé por qué también no lo hacen así, de que los mismos teachers a veces eh, siguieran diferentes módulos porque uno se va adaptando a cómo es eh, la enseñanza, ¿verdad? Y usted también ya lleva una frecuencia, porque, digamos, puede hacer que ahorita algunos sintamos bien avanzados lo que usted está dando, pero ya los que estuvieron con usted sí ya, ya llevan el mismo ritmo. Ya están adaptados, digamos. Ajá. Ajá, exactamente. Entonces siento que eh, eso nos ha pasado la mayoría que estamos... De hecho, ya no tengo casi compañeros de, de que estuvimos imagino, en los diferentes, sí. solo uno, Juan Carlos, eh, de ahí los demás, todos son nuevos. Entonces, uh -huh. como se dice, va, hay que irse adaptando poco a poco, porque llevábamos los cuatro módulos, los, las mismas personas. Entonces y, ya nos y, conocíamos y, y hola, y, y ahí va. Entre eso todos, eso ahí es bien genial, yo también eh, soy de, de la idea de que se debe de continuar el grupo, hasta hay más armonía, como que confianza, es bonito, ¿verdad? Lástima que, que se da una, unos cambios este, de, 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 de compañeros, de participantes, y ya me lo han mencionado, fíjate, Luisa, que le, le gustaría que un teacher por lo menos diera ciertos módulos, ¿verdad? Para que ese mismo teacher lleve el progreso y el avance. En, casualmente no, no siempre se hace así, es bien raro, entonces a mí últimamente me, solo me dan un módulo y me cambian y me cambian. Hasta ahora que me dieron un módulo Ajá. con varios estudiantes, pero de lo contrario no. Eh, pero espero que con el compañero o, el, o la compañera que hayas hablado te haya dado buenas referencias, porque el módulo pasado sí se trabajó, se trabajó bien. Así que... Sí, es bueno que sea dinámico, porque la verdad, o sea, llevamos, digamos, un ejemplo, así un teacher dinámico, y de repente pasamos a otro que... Nos decía, es más pasivo. Ajá. Entonces ahí siente uno que. El cambio. Que, mm. Ajá, el cambio, pues. Entonces, eso, nosotros la vez pasada, eso pedimos, ¿verdad? Pero no. Sí. No, quizás no, no, no se puede. Oh, ok, Por lo sí, mismo, a veces. Para que vayamos aprendiendo, quizás diferente. Claro, eh, Luisa, fíjate que normalmente no te sientes mayor, tan presionada con, con mi metodología, lo estás haciendo bien, eh, ya te vas a dar cuenta que eh, después de dos semanas, estar conmigo te vas a sentir como, como que súper adaptada. Uh -huh. Es más, después de la primera semana ya vas, ya vas a ver, porque en las speaking activities no te pido una respuesta súper larga, pero sí uh -huh. me gusta que la practiquen, porque si te das cuenta cuando la practicas, cuando ya participas, sonas todavía mejor. Es como que, ah, ya sonas un poquito más pro. Y eso es lo que, esa <risa> sensación he percibido en los participantes y me gusta. Así que eso nada más, este, igual nos basamos en el manual, vemos otros temas relacionados siempre a ciertos contenidos de, 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 del programa, pero sí, lo que quiero es que hablen un poquito más. Entonces, y también, si te das cuenta, le intento preguntarle a todos. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Uno sí, participa un poco más, pero sí intento que todos, porque son dos horas y estar dos horas aquí, tú ya me entiendes, sí. ¿verdad? No es fácil. 
Pero sí. yo te felicito, Luisa, y espero que sigas siempre activa, este, ¿verdad? Así que ánimo, ¿verdad? Okay, Cualquier gracias. cosa, tienes mi número, ¿verdad? Y espero que trabajes en la plataforma, ¿ok? Eso sería todo entonces. Perfecto. Cualquier cosa, me escribes, ahí estoy para apoyarles, ¿ok? Gracias, teacher. Bueno, pasa feliz noche. Bye, bye. Feliz noche, bendiciones. Bendiciones.